Okay. Um. Let's start. Oh, I can't change the resolution. Oh, it's it's one of these games. Um, hmm. Okay, wait, how do I fix this? Hold on, this just got very complicated. Transform center to screen. Will this work? No? Okay, uh, okay, how can I... Okay, how about game capture? Actually, yeah, I shouldn't be doing this. Okay. Uh, yeah. Okay, game capture. Oh, okay. It... Does this work? It does, but there's a massive delay. Okay, just give me a second. Excellent. The exit menu? The exit menu has the credits on it. I'm sorry, every time I press escape on the game, I have to see all the credits? Testers. This game didn't have one thing, which was tw testers, apparently enough. The Wait, why does the... Hold on, the, the game... The game has a massive delay. Start at OBS, start recording. Press on the game's icon and... Actually, I'm gonna check something. Maybe I can... Maybe I can add the borderless command? At the backside? 3, 2, 1, mark. Let's go. Um, the the audio didn't lag this time. I don't know why. Hold on. This is um this is a nightmare. Um, can I even run this game correctly, or it's gonna be literally impossible? Hold on. <laughs> um, booth. Prop value. C. Where's C? C. Program. Program data. Imagine. Optional save. Aha! Um. Full screen zero? Shouldn't you be starting with full, uh, full, full zero? No? Refresh rate 85? Oh, you spoil me, game. Um, okay. Um. About 19 by 1080, maybe this will solve it? Yeah? Well, actually, I don't want full screen. That's what I'm trying to do here. Um, full screen zero, maybe this will help it. No? Hold on, eventually. Uh, import. What do you mean import print sticker? What are the print and stickers for? Uh, full screen zero, maybe full screen one? Oh, the one would switch it on, no? Do I not know my stuff? No, I don't know my stuff. Well, kind of, maybe, sometimes. I don't know, actually. I don't know anything in life anymore. Well, I was able to fix one thing, so this is gonna be me just debugging a game today, I think. I don't think I'll be doing anything else, I'll just be debugging the game, essentially. Um, full screen minus one, maybe. Eh? Uh, maybe? Minus one. <laughs> um, two! No, they're all starting the same way. So what is... Okay, so... Okay, I have an idea. Well, actually, I don't. Um... Did, did I change the booth? Okay, booth. Uh, let's put you on zero. I mean, what, is this even working? I feel like it isn't working. Common RTD engine. Okay, what happens if I delete this and just start you up? Mm. 
Okay, so you create a file here. Maybe minus two. Or maybe it just doesn't read the number. It just automatically says, okay, I'm going to do it no matter what. <laughs> Listen here, you son of a bitch. <laughs> extras. What's in extras? Nothing. Okay. Um, zero. Or, or one, you know, just go immediately into full screen. That is fine. No. There is... If I, if I move my mouse, I can literally see on the screen, my mouse is moving like... One and a half seconds after I... Th thank you so much, uh, French. <laughs> what? Why is it so low? No, go back, go back. Go back, everything went... To, everything gone wrong. <laughs> I have a feeling... Okay, what what is happening? Why why are you doing this to me? What because okay, 60, fine, make it 60, you know, no bones of my teeth, as they say, you know, good in, in the back good old days. Now the game wants to be a stretch screen with like all the bad effects possible on it. Um <laughs> Just to be clear, this is a French game, right? That that would explain a lot currently about my situation. Oh, it can go on to any resolution if I just keep on spamming the button. Uh, my screen is vibrating for some reason. There's 1600 by 1200, but that option is not available, so I don't know what to do about that. Okay, uh, best I can do, I guess. You know what, it's, it's fine, just just go full HD, I guess, even with everything stretched out, so I don't need to see the entire things on the side. Although I don't know why the audio is lagging, man. Well, not the audio, sorry, the, the game. Me moving the mouse is one second. It's more than one second. Okay, let me restart the game again. Well, actually, I have no idea how, how this is gonna work. I have no idea the delay between the audio and myself, so... This is gonna be an entire new adventure, I don't know what to say. Let's play this mess of a game, let's go. Enter the name of your session. Bad. <laughs> program. <laughs> oh, I'm limited, bad program. Okay, that should work. The name enter contains special spaces or... The name enter contains special characters or spaces. <laughs> Shut. <laughs> Shut. <laughs> so this is the famous Sullivan Tower, home to Sullivan Style Factory. Sally wasn't exaggerating, it's huge. Oh, I don't know if I'll ever get the chance to thank her for introducing me to Mr. McAllister. I really hope everything goes well for her and her animals. Oh, I completely forgot to introduce myself. My name's Clara Willard, and this is my first day at Sullivan Style Factory. What? You just reset all my options when I started the game! Oh, no, sorry, right, what? I think officially the audio has desynced so much that even my audio has desynced. I think the game just started itself two times, I'm not sure. Direct Clara to the building entrance using the arrow keys. What the arrow keys? Forward, left, and right to turn. You can also use the mouse. Move in the direction you want to go, then left click to move forward. Um. Oh, the UI is disconnected as well! Oh wow, this requires more fixing, I guess. You can also make it turn up by holding down the right mouse button. Or the shift key on your keyboard. Now, over to you. Oh, 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 I, I see, oh, I, wait, you don't have an options menu? Um, the game doesn't have an options menu, um, okay. Okay, so I, I basically move around with my mouse, or I can use the, the, the things, the arrow keys? I can use these two options, but that's not the best part. Um, first of all, okay, so shift. Okay, yeah, yeah, so tank controls, but I can also tank control with my mouse. Although I have to press the left key and then the right key, two in one. Okay, so I'm gonna quit my job. 
I'm gonna start my life as a hobo? Okay, bye. Oh no, I've been trapped by the JPEGs. Nice Mercedes Bonds. Sullivan Tower. Oh, the high life. The high life. So what do I into? Well done. Thanks. Uh, to open the door, you just press the space bar, then scroll wheel or the middle mouse button. Press the space bar, the scroll wheel or the middle mouse button to open. So middle mouse button, right? You mean scroll it? No, just click it. Then why say scroll? Hello, Clara. Welcome to Sullivan Style Factory. Thanks. There you are, Carol. I was waiting for you outside. Why? Sorry about that. And for once, I was early. So, your big day has finally arrived. Oh my god. The developers actually gave a reason a low reason why your character was late struggling with the controls with another character, which is like, oh no, I was just waiting for you, lol la mal. Yep, my heart's beating like crazy. To land a work placement at Sullivan Style Factory is every young stylist's dream. <laughs> is it? I know. I felt just like you the first time. Anyway, you must have loads of questions for me. Well, whatever it is you want to know, just ask. That's what I'm here for. So wait, you work here or you don't work here? Why are you waiting and why do you stop job, 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 job early? Sorry, I had a stroke there. Ask her questions, ask on the question. I love to hear more about you and your career at Sullivan's. I love to know more about the company. Who do you work with? Tell me about your colleagues. Do I care enough? Abandon. <laughs> Abandon. The two French guys that were programming this game, they were like, what should we put for cancel or quit out? Anything! Abandon! Why? Abandon all hope! This is the main this is the game we're making here. I'd love to hear a bit more about you and your career at Sullivan Style Factory. I don't. Oh, it's pretty straightforward. I started out just like you. McAllister, the school's director, recommended me for a work placement at Style Factory. It wasn't easy in the beginning. I really had to work hard. But gradually, I managed to climb the ladder. And now I'm the boss's assistant. Yeah, women power with sickening nepotism. You're your school director took notice of you. Ah. Congratulations, you've done really well for yourself. Did she? Did she really do anything other than get sickening nepotism? Uh, tell me about the company, I guess, even though I should know about the company that come to work at. I'd love to know more about the company. Style Factory is a multinational company in the cosmetics and pret a porter sector. <gasps> it was founded by Nelson Sullivan, who still runs the company. <gasps> Our products are sold all over the world. We have over 600 stores in the United States alone. The headquarters are here in New York. Are they? Oh, continue. Oh, that one is continue, but not abandon. Who do you work with? Tell me about your colleagues. A lot of people work for Style Factory. I, I certainly don't know all of them. The managing director is Nelson Sullivan. He founded the company. His son Scott and his wife Kim work alongside him. So Here, more. Take this before you go any further. It's a personal assistant. You'll find it really useful. Everyone here has got one. Everyone here is just is just nepotisming each other. Everybody's just doing favors for each other. So I don't think anyone is qualified to even have these jobs. And B, what do I need a personal assistant? This company is so rich they can just afford to give anyone a personal assistant. That's how. What? I don't even know how to use one. <laughs> how old are you? You'll learn. It's not hard. Now I'm gonna introduce you to the directors of Style Factory. Nelson Sullivan and his wife and son have just returned from a business trip. Their helicopter will be landing any minute now. Follow me. Nelson Sullivan and his wife and son. Just say the Nelson family. The, what? <laughs> what a weird sentence structure and and for everybody. Your badges, please. Oh, look at the marsh. <laughs> Slim body, <laughs> the entire head and neck is like a tree trunk. Badge? What badge? <laughs> you need a badge to use the lift. 
It's a security measure. Oh, do you think this is going to come into play later on with a high quality JPEG or some candies in the background? I'm sorry, are those the bubble candies in the background with the gotchas? But I haven't got one. It's the first day on the job. Where would I even get one? It's my fault. I forgot to give you one. Go on, Mike. Be a sweetheart and let her in anyhow. It's out of the question, young lady. These are the new security measures. But what? 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 Okay, how did I get this job then? Okay. Wait here, Clara. I'll just go and get your badge from the design workshop. I'll be right back. It won't take me a second. One. Okay. You're now in control of Carol. Go to the design workshop on the 20th floor. Oh, dynamic. Huh? What, I get angry around here? By the way, can I walk backwards? Okay, no, there's no option to walk backwards. Am I becoming the Hulk? What's with the hands? Oh, Jesus. <laughs> I'm sorry. Did they just put around just some cabinets? Parcels sent to... Oh, these are mail. Parcels to be sent. Par parcels received. No, that's a plant. I don't think that's a parcel. Is, is this where I can hide and cry out? Choose floor. 12 or 20th or roof. I don't know which one ends the game faster. The roof? I like the weird Superman symbol they have. Do you think it's a symbol of hope? I've got no reason to be in Scott's office for now. For now. Every other day, you're Nelson. Nelson would definitely want to come to me going to his office for no good reason. Well, it seems like nobody wants to help each other at till yet. Design workshop. What, I'm going to design a badge? In real oh, time- great. The door's locked. Carol, you stupid bitch, how? The key inventory, open inventory, press the F5. F5? <laughs> now you're in inventory. You should also categorize the items. For example, put a bottle with a glass to do that, drag and drop the object first. I like how... I, I like how the first... I like how the first thing the game teaches you to combine in this game... A game that is, I'm gonna assume, aimed at, like, teenage, horny children. I, I like how the first thing they recommend you to combine is a bottle of wine and glass. That's that's the first thing they recommend you. So, technically, this game is also for stay-at-home moms that have been divorced. You need to take some of the objects with you. I have to give them away or to use them. Take an object, just click on it. Well, easy for you to say. It's The UI isn't matching up. Selected items. Return to menu. Welcome to your PDA. It contains many useful tools. Exit PDA on the big button. Little button allows to return home page. Finally, access the selections. So now I can open it? At least I now I know this game doesn't have a quick save. Great, you've just unlocked the door and I can open it. Did you just tell me I opened the door so I can open it? I'm gonna design a badge. Oh, RTX on! Oh, Nvidia, be jealous. Okay, where's the badge? The Clara... badge has got to be around here somewhere. Oh, there it is. Now I can head back to the lobby. Clara must be getting impatient. <laughs> even, even the game is an audio delay. I like how the reflection shown me. Showed me, shown me across the room. Private lift, it's Sylvan's private lift, takes you down to the basement. W why? I. Uh huh? Wait, am I going to the basement without the special elevator? <laughs> what? Hey, that is very inefficient. One entire elevator for one family. And, and B... Uh, also, what do you need a badge for if you see... You do know you need badges for a security scan. If you're allowed somewhere, right? It's not for a guy to see. First of all, A, badges are for the security guy to scan them. If you're allowed in the, in the building or like they lock you out. First of all, A. This guy doesn't seem like he has a scanner. A B, entire elevator that takes you to the basement and yet I went to the basement, which they meant the first floor. So I think in French, I don't know, maybe they, this is old school French from the medieval ages, back then when they cut people's head off during the revolution. I think back then they didn't have the word basement. Basement meant just first floor, like all the other peasants. Give card the badge, just can use the lift. Oh my god. There. 
<laughs> oh, I can't press F5 to quit out. Okay. Clara, I found your badge. Sorry to have kept you waiting. Thank you. Don't lose it. You've only got one. <laughs> That's not how works work. I'll be careful. Promise. Good. Now you have the badge. Show it to Mike. You're not gonna move out of the way. Can I just walk back? <laughs> <laughs> Why do you run with your mouth open? Why are we getting angry around here? Carol isn't very talkative. Hey. Mike? I don't know why your hitbox is okay. behind you. Have a nice day, young ladies. Thank you. That's just my badge, not her. Wait, she didn't show you the badge. How you what? too, Mike, and well done you for being so conscientious. Conscientious. Is it spelled with a T? Oh no, we're late. I promised Mr. McAllister that we'd be there to meet the Sullivans on their arrival. And? Hold on. Before we go and meet them, could you tell me a bit more about them? What else would you like to know? Tell me about Nelson Sullivan. <laughs> Nelson Sullivan is a living legend. Well, I never heard Did about you know him. That a magazine has just ranked him as the world's eighth richest man. Hey, told Not me. A day goes by without an article about him appearing in the tabloids. And he's married, so I don't know what the point of that is. But what the papers don't tell you is that this eccentric individual in his colorful getups is a formidable businessman. When he created Style Factory 12 years ago, no one believed in his idea. Today, his group is the market leader in cosmetics and pret-a-porter. Yeah, we got that. <laughs> the developers just want to use the word pret-a-porter. Pret -porter. We have to use the word pret-a-porter. What's Scott like? Scott doesn't have a good reputation at Style Factory. Everyone thinks he's a spoiled brat, and it's certainly true that he's never wanted for anything. After all, when your name's Sullivan, money is no object. Well, but he still has to work, no? But I think people are wrong to judge Scott on his money and sports cars alone. Oh! He's also a very sensitive young man with a real artistic talent. It's a pity he's so shy. I'd like to get to know him better. <laughs> Ladies, huh? Play our game. Imagine dating a spoiled brat. I'd like to know more about Kim. Oh, Kim great. Doherty is a former actress turned businesswoman. She never really made it in Hollywood. Some people would go so far as to say she was no good. Anyway, since she started working for Style Factory, she certainly found her niche. I don't know. I think she couldn't find her block A AR tutorial map answer one tree with index one. I don't know. I don't think she found it. Does she live with Nelson Sullivan? Yes. Sullivan was married before, but his wife died in a car accident two years ago. Since then, he's remarried to Kim Doherty, whom he absolutely worships. Scott, on the other hand, can't stand her. He thinks she's a bad influence on his father. Oh, I see. The bad woman disappeared, and that's why she got scrubbed so hard off the world that there isn't even a tutorial reference to her. Hurry up. I'll meet you at the heliport. But I don't even know where that is. You stupid bitch, Clara. It's on the building's roof, of course. Of Use course. the map on your personal assistant to find your way there. To find your way, map. F4 button on your keyboard. Well, I can't access the F4. Oh, because we can't use the elevator at the same time? Here's a map of the building. Not only does it help you find your way around, but just one click can get you anywhere on the building. Oh? At the top of the screen are icons for each floor. Selected floor will be displayed below the room is currently flashing where you're present located. Go to the another room, you just have to click on it, but be careful, there are some rooms that cannot access at the moment. Oh, fast travel! This is Skyrim-like! Oh my god, no, my eyes! Ah, Clara, there you are! Mr. McAllister, I'm so nervous. You're understandably a little anxious, but don't worry. Nelson Sullivan is a friend of mine. The Royal. Nelson, hello. Not here. The engines are making such a racket. Let's go to my office. <laughs> then how do you hear him? Nelson, I'd like to introduce you to Clara Willard. She's one of Imagine Fashion Designer's best students. 
I trust your judgment, Charles. You've got a knack for sniffing out new talent. <laughs> so, young lady, you're going to be working with us? Well, uh... Don't be shy. Here at Style Factory, we're all one big family. Oh, no. This is my wife, Kim, who runs the cosmetics department. And my son, Scott, who's in charge of the fashion design department. What would you like to do here? Clara's a very promising designer. I thought she could join the design team. The design team, is that all? Well, come to think of it, why not? After all, all the great designers had to start somewhere. Okay, it's a deal. You start today. <laughs> Carol, would you see to this young lady's details, please? Of course, Mr. Sullivan. Perfect. Now, if it's all right with you, I've got work to do. Clara, it's been a pleasure meeting you. This evening, we're having a cocktail party for the launch of our new cosmetics line, Eclat Ardon. I'll see you there. Thank you so much, Mr. Sullivan. Now we're going to move on to the serious Oh, style. no. After being trained in our workshops, I'm going to ask you to work for Style Factory's clients. If your designs are of a high enough standard, your reputation will blossom, and you could become fashion's young hope. Were you projecting your voice? Don't you love it when your boss tells you, well, we're one big happy family as a way to essentially say we're not paying you enough for your job? We're not going to pay you above minimum wage, but we can have pizza night tonight. Every morning you can save and wander around the company and say hello to your colleagues. Some of them might ask you to do a few favors and I'll get a reward in exchange. What kind of favors? Learn about fashion by looking on the computer in the showroom. There are lots of information files. You can take tests. I'm taking tests inside of... What? In my job? Finally, mornings are a perfect time to do a bit of shopping. If you want to have a look around the shops, get in a limo parked in front building, it'll take you to the shops. Anyway, as you can see, there's plenty to do at Style Factory. Make sure that most of it go for a walk, whatever you fancy. <laughs> what? There's plenty of work to do around here. Make the most of it. Go for a walk and whatever you want. You're getting paid anyways. In fact, I'm um, here at this company, we kind of forget we employ people sometimes and we just keep on paying them even when they don't work. As soon as you're ready to get down to work, go have a look at information board. What, I'm gonna do favors for Steve Johnson? Sorry, but I haven't got time now. Why is everyone blue-eyed? That's the only eye color the developers found. Old machine card. An old and dusty card machine? I can't do anything with that for now. Ah, she's preparing me while running with her mouth open. What's this? Goodness, the staff list with all of their phone numbers. But that's of no use to me right now. Ah, she's preparing me. The self factor information board is where you choose your new tasks. Also, what was the point of the wife, sweet pot? Just there, there for fashion on the desk? Hey! I didn't know there were sweets made in the shape of the Sullivan Tower. What? Oh, there's only one left. I'd better leave it for now. <laughs> no, there is plenty. It's full. What do you talk, Clara? Are you blind? Learn the basics of design workshop with a small mission. Welcome to Site Factory. This is where you sign up for a task and can see there's only one task available. Here are the details of the of the task you've chosen. Just have a closer look at them. It's like, it is objective design workshop. The information is important. Is it? Is anything about this game really important in our lives? If you're missing any accessories, clothes, or anything else, it tells you if you're missing something. Am I missing anything? But don't worry about it. You've got all you need to complete your task. Now look at the stars next to a workshop title. Uh, the dark blue star represents the score you need to get success to complete your task. Oh, I can't even fail. I see. Illusion of choice. At the bottom of the screen are tokens and notoriety points. You'll win if you complete your task. Notoriety points. <laughs> I'm notorious for being bad. Good, now accept this test by clicking on the validate button. I feel very validated. You're not signed to complete the training mission workshop mission. You have just signed your first contract, but you don't get stressed out. You're going to do it together. Who is is this God talking to me? I have a voice in my head right now. My character has a voice. It's it's the it's a it's a French developer in my head that is like, ooh, I'm gonna help you, Clara. The first workshop we need to do is design the workshop. Wait, what? The first workshop we need to do is a design workshop. What? You mean clothes or dress, right? Take a lift to get there on the 20th floor. It's the first door on your right. 
Well, joke's on you. I just click here. All skill, baby. Look at the speed run. Now go over to the drawing board and press the space bar to begin the workshop. This? This. What? Oh, just, oh, just in general, click like that. Oh, the first Monday. Oh, no. Welcome to Design Workshop. This is where you can put your practice talents as a fashion designer if you don't get a stroke. <laughs> this is really bad. Um, okay, I have an idea. Um, hold on. I have an idea. I'm going to do this. Um, I actually don't know how to do it. Hold on. Um, very sorry about this. This game is full of problems, you know, as they say. Okay. Don't notice the bloodborne tags, okay? Don't notice this, please. Uh, by the way, can I, like, stretch you? Oh, I can just do this, okay. Oh, thank you, bloodborne. Is this enough? <laughs> don't mind the bloodborne, please. No, literally, don't mind it. Okay, um, do you think this will save it? I guess we're about to find out. Oh, sorry, if I alt-tab, it fixes it, kind of. Okay, you know what? I'll just keep it like this. This is supposed to be the- you know what? No. Okay. Okay, where- <laughs> Where is it? Okay, let me- okay, let me just restart everything. Hold on, very sorry about- no, no, wait, don't restart it. Right, don't restart it because of the audio thing. Right, 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 right. Sorry, my bad. Okay, so I'll tap- I'll tap fixes the thing in the background. The, the light blinding, you know, giving Clara a stroke. I was very surprised Clara didn't start, you know, just projectile vomiting all over Sylvan's desk, but we are here. Welcome to Design Workshop, the, where you don't have a stroke. You can put in practice your talents as a fashion designer. Start by looking at the workshop list of objectives to do that, clicking on the objective button at the top of your screen. Uh, no, that isn't what I asked you to do. No, that is what you asked me to do. Start by looking at the workshop list objectives. Click on the objective button. Oh, right! My mouse is desynced from, like, what I'm clicking on. Right, this is a step-by-step guide. Also, what do you mean that isn't what you asked me to do? Shut the fuck up! Why are you being so violent against me? Who do you think you are? This is a step-by-step -step guide on what you need to do to actually complete the workshop. To begin, let's look at the first objective. A short three-quarter length sleeve dress with a mandarin collar and a split-up side. Click on the close button at the bottom of the list. Remember, you can look at the list of objectives. Right, we're looking for a Chinese dress. Oh, I see. It was was this made in 2016 for that demographic? On the top left hand of your side of the screen, there are different sections. Trousers, skirts, and of course, dresses. Now look on the dress icon. No, that isn't what I asked you to do. Shut the fuck up, you have no idea what you're asking me to do, man. Good, now I've opened the dress section. Use your garment, you need to drag and drop the icon from the left of your screen onto the model. Now, your turn now, drag and drop the Chinese dress onto your model. Oh, now you're not gonna guide me. Well done, do you notice that your number of stars has gone up? No, because I'm looking at this? You found the right dress and it's fine. But a few alterations can make it even better. You're going to request a bit... You are going to take it up a bit to make a short dress as requested. Click on the alterations tab on the right side of the screen. Why is there a squ... Why is there a box floating next to me? No, that isn't what I asked you to do. Okay, it's very easy for you to say no, listen to me, you listen to me. The dresses that have appeared on the right of your screen are the main dresses alteration, shorter ones with a pattern on the ones with a larger collar. To put on the altered dress of your model, simply drag and drop the model. Uh, your turn. Dress your model in a short Chinese dress. Can't you just say that from the start? Very short. Yeah, yeah let's go to very short. No, that doesn't what I asked you to do. <laughs> Shut the fuck up, French man, telling me what to do. Perfect, now put some silk stockings on her as I <laughs> as asked. <laughs> Click on the stockings icon. 
Now proceed as you did before to dress. Drag and drop the stockings onto the model. Fishnet? No, that isn't what I asked you to do. Okay, shut the fuck up with their leggings. No? There. Great. Your score is going up and up. Let's just have a look at the list of objectives and see what else you need to do. Click on the objectives button. Right, let's take a stock of the situation. Let's take stock of the situation. What words? By asking a professional what they think of your work, do that, click on ask an opinion. And everyone's opinion is wrong. Number of opinions remaining, seven. I'm gonna listen to seven people tell me what a woman should do, no thanks. Where do I click? Oh, in the middle. When you ask a professional's opinion, they'll let you know how well you've done in each objective. A green tick mark means good, an orange means average, and a red means bad. Be careful, there are limited to the number of opinions you can ask for each workshop. Let's see what the professional has to say. The choice of cloths is perfect. However, the choice of patterns and colors is bad. That is to be expected, as we haven't chose those yet. So better get on with it. The second panel two objectives say red, black, and Asian patterns. That doesn't sound too hard. Close the list of objectives. I don't know, apparently being less racist is too hard for this game. For each objective, just Asian patterns, that's it. I'm very surprised they don't simply, you know, come out and say the O word at the same time. Um, use the imagination, come up with a good design, but remember to stick to what you've been asked to do. In, ca in our case, I'm going to suggest one of the possible solutions. Start by selecting the dress the model's wearing. Click on it. Great, as you can see, a frame has appeared. Oh, that frame is supposed to be centered on her. Indicates the garment accessory is currently selected. Now look at the patterns tab. This is where you can choose the patterns and colors. Now let's put into practice, click on... Okay, this is the game saying it. Okay, Asian money. I don't know what that means. Patterns? Oh, it's already selected. Asian coin? Asian money? What, what do you mean, money? Oh my god, there's so many patterns! Abstract floral design. Like the rest of this game when they're programming, the entire code for this game is abstract. You mean coins? Great, the pattern has to be applied to your garment. You cannot choose the colors. Black and red. Choose a color, use a color circle. Click on red from the color circle. Good. Uh, to choose a shade of red, use a shade circle. And to add the shade to your pattern, drag and drop it to one of your parts on the pattern. Now it's your turn. Drag and drop the dark red shade on the first pattern circle. Drag and drop the dark red shade onto the first pattern circle. Don't shut up, French man! That's not what I asked you to do. This? Okay, do I do I drop it where a mouse is or <laughs> now you're going to use black on another part of the pattern as before? Where is black? I don't see black. Is there a black? Oh I have to go to gray. Sorry my why not simply put grays? Good, now drag and drop the black shade on the second area. <laughs> perfect. It replaced the other one! What do you mean, perfect? You've done a great job! Remember that you can also put color straight on the pattern on top of the right hand of the screen. Okay, game, I don't think you understand how desync the mouse is. I know you have to do it, move on to the stockings. Remember that it, not every garment has to have a pattern. You can just keep one to the color. Let's just take a closer look at how it works, says the French man. First, select your model stocking by clicking on them. Good, you'll see the pattern icon currently selected. Don't touch you see that the pattern icon is currently selected. What? Oh, you did it for me. Um, selected is a uniform color. Don't touch this. We're going to change the, the color. We're going to change in black. Now drag and drop the black color. No, that isn't what the... Frenchman? Shut up, ye grizzle. Here? No. Here? No. There. You successfully fulfilled your objectives, did I? 
The clothes and pattern and color choices, just take a look at your score to see how well you've done. Now all you need to do is validate your workshop, click on the validate button. No, that isn't what I asked you to do. <laughs> Programmers from France! Instead of doing strike, maybe you guys could fix yourselves! You just mounted your workshop, you'll now receive your final score! Which is... Yet another quality piece of work by Sullivan and Co. Art in America! <laughs> That's the last country in the world that cares about art! Fashion Times! Excellent! There's an entire magazine for fashion! Is that why they used the uh, uh, Sun's comics to write the text? Continue! Oh, look at my... St oh, I have 30... Oh, I have 30 Bitcoin... Well, not Bitcoins. Back then we called them tokens. And that's what we paid women with, so, you know, they had nothing. For now, you're just a trainee. You need to become fashion's young hope before the end of the month. You've got 19 days to do that! Current status, trainee. Well done! You've now got the hang of what's done in the workshop. You can carry out some real design tasks for the customers of Suman Style Factory to undertake a new task. You display screen in the lobby. And... It took me the entire day just to make that. Sorry, but I haven't got time now. The developers don't have time for this game, that's all I know. Okay, can I at least access... Quest journal, inventory, maps, level, save game, quit game. Enter name of your save session. Oh, I have to type in. Uh, <laughs> yes. Okay. <laughs> okay. Wow. Okay. No. 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 Okay. At, at least, at least, this will tell me if I'm getting the wrong resolution. I guess. Um. Um. The game just disappeared. Well, at least I know that's not the correct resolution for it. Because I still need to cut it out. Okay, I'm not exactly sure why OBS for a while there was like, I'm not gonna capture this. Okay, this is the next best I can do. Um, this, this game is so fragile. This is what happens when French people try to program. Um, this is what happens. Uh, that's why you don't trust them. Uh, because they're too busy drinking wine and revolution to actually, you know, do anything else. Uh, no, no, yeah, this. Learn basics of makeup. Can I select multiple ones? Oh no, I'm in mission mode. I can only select one. <laughs> Welcome to the beauty shop. Together we're going to work out a remodel, how to do her makeup and her hair. Are you ready? Am I? Am I ever ready with these games? The first thing you do when you start a new workshop is to have a look at the task objective. Click on objective tab at the top of your screen. Aha, uh -huh, now I can. Now the mouse is in the correct place. To begin, let's have a look at the first objective. It says carrot orange lipstick. Remember you that and close the list. No, I didn't mean to click on op- no, Why is that so big? Like I said, use the interface. Color of shades. To complete the first objective, you're going to take care of the lipstick. To do that, click on lipstick. Uh, remember, carrot orange. Carrots? <laughs> Excellent, good choice. <laughs> Wait, am I just recreating her in my image? This is this is what Cla Clara does every day. She comes over into the work office and just recreates models in her own image. Good. Now into this, apply the lipstick. Zoom on the camera function. Use the lipstick. You need to apply the tube directly to model's lips. <laughs> Wait, what? Be careful. Use the cotton. No, where's the cotton? What do you mean no? Oh, you mean this? This? This seems like a really small cotton. Oh, this is what you mean by zoom in. To use a lipstick, 
What is this? Is this not cotton? Oh, here's a cotton pad. Oh, I have to click on it each time, right? Or can I just... Oh, I can't... Pr okay. Um, the, the game sometimes works and sometimes doesn't. Oh, I keep it pressed. And then, like, occasionally I'll move it. Okay, so carrot. Shut the fuck up. Is, it, is this not carrot? Shut the fuck up. Okay, there we go. Okay, they knew. The assholes knew. There. You got off the, oh, you you got you've got you've got off to a good start. <laughs> I think the rest of the demographic of this game got off. Yeah. D this this detailing feels unnecessary. Perfect. This is perfect. You call this perfect. Now go over the edges. You want to rub out the smudge marks. Use the rubber tools. On the bottom left. Rubber tools. <laughs> You've completed your first objective. Let's have a look at the next one. Click again on the objectives tab. <laughs> Just in case I don't accidentally poke her eye out with my lipstick. The second objective gives some instruction on the eye makeup. Carrot orange. What's with the carrot and hazel contact? Oh no. See? Models are inferior human be beings. Carrot orange. Okay, I got it. You're obsessed with carrot. What do you mean this is not orange? Oh, this is apricot. Sorry, my bad. They specifically call for carrot. Now you need to apply the model's eyelids in the same way as the lipstick. That's good. Keep at it. Is, is that what your wife tells you? I barely touched it. This feels unnecessary. We'll finish off the makeup over by putting the colored contact lenses. Make it hazel. Hazel. Chestnut. Brown. Hazel. Very good. As you can see, the contact lenses are applied automatically. The why not for the rest of the things? You complete your first makeover and I can move on to the hairstyling. Hairstyling section of the beauty. Go to the makeup model whenever you want. On the whole, you can move from one mode to another whenever you like. Let's get straight to work. You can first the stage, so I'll let you on it. Nails do nothing. Nothing to do. The nails are perfect. <laughs> Red hair! Elarba chic. What is this? Is this like a bagel with ringlets? What's a ringlet? Uh, elaborate with curls. I literally have no idea how to pronounce that. The hairstyles on the left of your screen. We are really going downtown with the entire... Chinese outfit, get up. Good, not select the red dye. Not carrot. I'm very surprised it's not carrot. Great, another objective completed. Now I can leave the workshop clicking on validate. Do I wanna live? Do I don't wanna apply tattoos? Okay, Frenchman, stop telling a woman that you didn't ask for that, okay? Just went to the workshop, you received final score. Yet another quality piece of work by Sylvan and Co. Wait a second! Oh, look at my stock market. It's rising. Hold on. I'm just training. My training is so good. Just my... My training art is so good on a human being that I get published in art in America. That's how good I am. I'm so good that just practicing on how to become a stylist, which is... I don't know how I got this job if I don't know how to do any of this. Uh, but apparently I'm so good that, like, the company is so proud of me. Like, like an illegitimate father that is like, Look at my daughter, she's doing it! Please publish it in your books! Congratulations, you mastered makeup techniques. You can offer your skills to the customers of the Sullivan factory. What, I just go around to paint up all the employees? What, is that what you mean by factory? Also, this is not a factory, no? This is... What is this place? This is where rich people go to pretend they're working? Jewelry workshop. So, where's jewelry? Street shopping. <laughs> There's another word for street shopping. <laughs> Welcome to the necklace. Sorry, ne not necklace, jewelry. You can create necklace, bracelets, and earrings. Same technique for all types of jewelry. Apply the support that is a string and then add the beads. Okay, that's not how it works. You don't create jewelry from the scratch. Before starting, have a look at the mission objective. Click on the mission objectives. 
Good, that doesn't look too complicated. There is only a necklace to do, no bracelets or earrings, and strings only need to have one silver pendant encrusted with diamonds on it. Let's have a look at how... How... How to go about doing that. On the left are supports. Gold, silver, or white. Beads on the other. Don't be so anal about it. Let's start placing a silver string on Imodo's neck. That... That is very fragile. Just find locations that appear. They show you where you can place the necklaces. Perfect! Just place your silver necklace. Now just need to add the beads, but remember only to use silver and diamonds. Beads are organized into four main teams. Costume, ethnic, <laughs> and princess classic. Oh, I see. Uh, ethnic cultures? You know, all of them. All of them! Uh, cannot be classics or princesses. Or, or costumes. Just remember that, okay? They're organized into beat shapes to so choose one. Didn't I call it at the start? With a Chinese dress. To choose one, click on the icons on the right hand side. Once you've chosen the team and shape, you just need to select the beat from the list. Let's move on to the tactical. Sorry, practical part, not tactical. You'll find the beat you need to Princess tab. Excellent, there are several silver and diamond pendants. Choice is yours. I suggest you place the one in the shape of a flower. I think it'll do just fine. Click on the metal flower encrusted with precious stone. Perfect, there are two silver pendants. Flower pendant encrusted with diamonds on the list. Click the one the best. Good choice. You can see the bead locations that appeared. Uh, to place your pendant on location in the middle of the string. Well done, you successfully completed your mission, but before validating, I just to tell you two important points that come in hand next round. When you want to remove a string or a bead you have placed in a string, you need to use the tweezer tools. What? To select the tool, just click on your right mouse button or on the remove jewelry icon on the bottom left hand side of your screen. Finally, if you want to create bracelets or earrings, just select the appropriate tab on the left of your screen. Good, now all you need to do is validate your workshop. Why not simply use my hand? God, you know what this reminds me of? Spore? Except a spore is to kids. Like, you know, little shits who think they know how to 3D model, but they can't. That is what Spore is. And this game is the Spore to, like, single moms or, like, horny teenagers that want to model fashion. Another quality piece of work by our trainee. <laughs> oh, it doesn't matter if I get full stars or not. As long as I get near complete stars, I get the full tokens. Remember, I'm a woman getting paid in tokens. Well done, make jewelry in the factory. I'm gonna work in the factory now. <laughs> Remember, I'm a woman getting paid in tokens, okay? That's, this is what the developer wishes in France, women get paid in tokens, not actual money. That's how unimportant this job is, apparently. <laughs> Wait, where do I go? Which one did I select? Oh, sorry, I was too busy making fun of people. Um... Oh, I can't go. Oh, there's a secret laboratory. Okay. Why would you say there's a laboratory in your PDA, man? That doesn't make any sense. Hey, don't go to the basement. What's in the basement? Nothing. I just checked my PDA. Hmm. It says there's a laboratory here in the security room. Nah. No, you don't have rights. You're getting paid in tokens anyway. Shush. Oh, it's... Wait, what's my objective? You're not in quest diary. All the mysteries need to solve have happened so far. Information is organized into episode. See details of the quest on the arrow. There is a catwalk on the roof. What? <laughs> oh, mission journal. It gives instructions on the current mission. I need to go to the catwalk? You can... You can start with this button? Oh, I don't even need to fast travel correctly. I can just press on start. What? Press the space bar. You can admire your model while she takes part in a fashion show. You don't need to act your model. Something the model was trying to strike a pose to do a turn. You need to help her with this. What am I, am I, am I remote controlling her? Press this. What? <laughs> what? Help! Here we are! The mole is about to strike a pose! Why is she wearing 
the normal outfit. What happened to the to the clearly quote unquote Chinese dress? Here we are. The mod is about to strike a pose. I need to take charge. With what remote? Oh, oh, I see. Models are not humans. They're just robots we control. See, this game is smart. It's a sociopolitical commentary from France, which is very unimpressive. A series of buttons have just appeared. On the keyboard, you need to press all the buttons in the series, one after another, from left to right. There's no point hurrying, just follow the indicator. The pink circle is currently in the first icon. Don't point hurrying! You need to press down, then up arrow. <laughs> the game is literally telling me what buttons to press. And don't forget to follow the pink circle. Are we? You told me not to hurry! <gasps> game! The game lied to me just now! It literally- <laughs> What are those people in the background? Is that- Is that Brad Pitt and Angelina Jolie just talking? <laughs> okay, there's a model walking around in her tighty white is essentially borderline. Um, I don't know why she removed the Chinese dress, uh, but she looks lovely as a carrot on a walkway on top of the roof where the helicopters land, so there's that. Brad Pitt and Angelina Jolie are watching that. I don't know why Brad Pitt is wearing a Chinese martial arts master outfit while Angelina Jolie is just clearly wearing a jacket and nothing else. You didn't manage to strike a pose, try again. Of course, French man, because you didn't tell me that I was on a timer. You said take your time. Oh, this is what you mean by follow the pink. Good, you managed to strike your first pose. You can now take a photo of your model. Do that, just press the space bar. Or I don't. Sorry, I need to save my hard drive space from this game, you know. <laughs> Why is she tiptoeing with her flats? Sorry, the model is so used to being like in high heels that she can't help herself, but she also had to tiptoe on her flats. Well, not flats, on her weird height sandals. I guess so she doesn't drown in a quicksand out here. See, this game has everything! Except women rights, apparently. That's about it. Am I still getting paid in tokens or for the company? You know, so when the company, like, goes bankrupt, I don't have anything to pay my apartment rent with? Is that Daniel Craig in the background? What's with all the... What's with all the Chinese dress clothed people in the... Choose the photo you want to put in the book! What? Did I need to do that? You don't need to get your model ready, just need to take her down to the catwalk. You've done well, you still completed your workshop. Thanks, Dad. Oh, I still get paid in six tokens. Another pe fine piece of quality work. So, so Sullivan invited over Daniel Craig, uh, Brad Pitt, Angelina Jolie, like all these top-tier Hollywood actors just to watch a nobody uh, strut around a nobody uh, with her corset, that's about it. Great. Now that you know how to direct the model on the catwalk, the world's top fashion show will be at your feet. Mm -hmm. To undertake a new task, use the display screen in the lobby. Well, I'll see you later, Brad Pitt, I guess. And then Gina the bully. Just literally press... Why is there like three forms of quick travel in the game? Welcome to the photo workshop. Need to take the camera and your models. Okay, serious question. When Gucci himself, Mr. Gucci, he takes pictures of his model and stuff, does he do all the work by himself? He does all the work, he does all the work, right? Like, every single fashion designer does all the work themselves, they don't have specialized people in each category. I mean, I guess this is how the rich people take away the jobs from the working class. Like, with our workshop, first thing you need to do, information screen. You need to take one of the several pictures, a series of five photos, always bearing in mind displayed objective. Let's start with the first series, have a look at the objective, two vertical photos with sepia filter. First instruction for two photos, and then I've just told you that you need to take five photos per series. Funny, huh? No, they're not funny at all. Actually, it's very simple. What they mean is that at the end of the workshop, you should choose the two best photos out of the five photos you've taken and bin the other three. The second instruction asks for vertical photos. Simply reverse how you hold your camera. Who is this game designed for? Good, the third instruction says to use a filter. 
they're just they're just color filters that can attach to the lens of the camera or you can just use your phone you know click on the sepia icon perfect thank you the fourth instruction says use a lush scenery what are you going to green screen this trees orchid in in spring <laughs> i think a green screen would look more realistic than this excellent the final instruction says use a portrait composition that you need to adjust the shot rather than the camera itself so let's move straight on to taking the photos Turn the camera around on itself. Simply move your mouse. Zoom on the keyboard or the plus and minus key. Take a photo, click on the left mouse button. Uh, what's the blue thing for? God, this is so depressing. Congratulations. You took your first photo, but uh, but you did just take a portrait shot as requested. If you didn't, don't worry. Just remember, take a good portrait shot. You need to zoom in, then position your camera so the model's head in the center of your viewfinder. Until the model has stopped moving to take your photo, T your turn, take the four remaining shots. Um... Oh, this game also requires a numpad. It doesn't work with the with the with the positive and negative. Is this good enough with her giant forehead? <laughs> Look at this beauty. She's wondering. Oh, she's pondering. Don't look at the camera. That's how you ruin the shot. Didn't you learn that from your sister? <laughs> good. You're going to move to the next series. Read the new objective carefully. I'll leave you to adjust the settings. Thank you, Frenchman. Tree horizontal. Um, black and white filter. Green and grassy background. Head and shoulder composition. Head and shoulders. Green and grassy background. God, why is this all these options here? Head and shoulders. Are we advertising a shampoo? But why black and white? It's, it's terrible. Oh no, she was moving. Oh no. Oh, look at this. She's wondering where her life is going. This, what, are we going to sell this picture to America for like the soldiers to join war? Oh, she's doing the koi eyes. Now that I'm choosing two, two portrait, sorry, not portrait. Two portrait photos and three head and shoulder photos. Obviously, you should choose the best ones. Okay, how do I know which one are best ones? There? You can see the mark you've given for each photo by clicking on it and holding down the mouse button. A little bit late on that, don't you think? Also, what do you mean the composition is bad? You wanted head and shoulders. Is that not head and shoulders? Watch too much boob on the flat? You better give me my 30 bitcoins. You've completed your workshop. Yay, just taking three mediocre pictures. I'm more being advertised in fashion times in America. Congratulations, I know how to use a camera. Now you can immortalize your top designs by photographing them to undertake a new task. Thank you. Much appreciated. Cinema, the film studio audio costume for the heroine of the TV series set in the wild, wild west. Clothes, exclamation, what, I don't, <clears throat> I don't have it? Jet set, I don't have something, I guess. Cinema, beautiful assassin, Honey Spencer needs a secret agent outfit. Okay, so apparently I have design. Clothes, catwalk? Oh, there's multi-phases to this, just like a Dark Souls boss fight. Um, do some of them give you more? Oh, the more complex it is, the more they give you. So what about the three? Or the four? Flamingo dancers. Cabaret. Green shadow. Black boots. Black bowl. Okay, so what do I need?
I can just take the limousine to go and buy some clothes. Uh, tokens at the ready, extend jewelry box and makeup kit. You can swap tokens you want. <laughs> you can swap tokens you want for new clothes. Make up other things. All the items are on sale, are sorted in four main categories. No, I didn't ask you to do that. What are you asking me to do then? Why? <gasps> the game is gonna force me to buy stuff I don't want to buy. It's a good thing I didn't simply select some random trash to go and do right now. Open a new category, click on dress icon. Perfect. Buy. You select the items you want to buy, do that. There you go, now you need to do is click on the buy button. You can confirm the purchase. You don't have to, though if you don't want to buy the dress, it's up to you. Oh, okay, they don't force me. Now I can have a look around the interface. 180? Oh, sorry, it's, it's TK, telekinesis. Leather jacket. Bolero with lace sleeves. I'm sorry, are those breasts? What are those two pokey things on the side? Low-rise jeans with protective slaps. Sorry, not slaps. Slacks? What was it called? Chaps, sorry. Chaps. Treatment. Jewelry. Accessories. My item. What is... Huh? 400 tree 2? For some pink boots? What? Wait, do I also need to buy the colors? I... So, so what did I need? I need the boots. Did I need pumps? Why does this feel like there are things that should have been like in in the in the? It feels like a the, like a giant multi-million company should have all of these. Okay, so what I also found out apparently is that we're living in a society. That's what he said. We're living in a society where the entire town relies on this one man essentially to like 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 provide oh i ran out of cash sorry my bad i wasn't paying attention yeah i want to stop shopping apparently i'm a bad shopper we live we live in a town where the entire town relies on this one building you know those buildings sorry but... the one voice actor they could afford also what about the security guard did he die oh no i didn't buy the right things for this why I, okay um yeah, I do need the money. Okay, let's go. Clara, we're supposed to be in preparation for next fashion show. I need to design a piece of jewelry that I, all what I want is simple. It needs to be luxurious breath. I need to design a piece of jewelry. What I want is simple. It needs to be luxurious, breathtaking, and dazzling. I appreciate that not at all. What's my objective? Six silver necklaces. Filled with silver beads and crusted with diamonds, emeralds, or sapphires. Okay. Wait, what? Silk silver necklaces. Oh, six. Sorry, my bad. I read that as three for some reason. Seems kind of excessive. It seems like you're trying to strangle this poor woman. Um, half filled with silver beads. Silver... Silver beads encrusted with diamonds, emeralds, or sapphires. So just some vampires? Huh? Oh sorry, is this not what you want? It seems like the game had more than a few translation issues in my opinion, but what do I know? Silver spider? And no, apparently they don't like Halloween around here. Okay, so you guys are not very playful, are you now? Oh, classic! Right or ethnic? <laughs> what? <laughs> Onyx circles? Okay, no French people. They don't like other cultures as per usual. No, okay. Madam, sir, I don't know what you want, honestly. So, like this. Um... Encrusted princess? So you mean like this? Oh, you like this disgusting thing?
Wait, did I lose a point or what? Oh, sorry, I gained it. You see, I can't reach over there. No, 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 tweezers. Well, what you adding? No, no, I don't want to delete the next game. What are you telling me about deleting stuff? I'm not, I'm not the one deleting here with the bad controls. Okay. You like this disgusting thing. Unbelievable. It's true. People in the fashion world don't have any sense. Of taste. Half filled with silver beads encrusted with diamond emeralds or sapphires. Okay, this is like... Do I need to add more? Is, is there a button I need to press to like add all of them at the same time? Did I just lose a star somewhere? Oh no, I'm uh, sorry. The blinking is so weird. It, it feels like the blinking feedback is always... Okay. Okay, just... Yes, delete. <laughs> ah, delete! Sorry, apparently the pixels are still not big enough for this game. You know, this game is so good. Okay, it's just zoom in. You know, this is just a counter-strike. It's based upon the pixel density of what I'm touching. I like how my mouse technically is still off-center, essentially. Oh, I can go around you. Can you Oh, this centers it. This is what goes for fashion. What, the developer's wife fought with them day and night? Okay, literally I have no idea how this works. Oh, now I don't get- Oh, I'm losing points now! Wait, what? Was I losing points? Oh. Okay. Yeah? So I- is, is there a limit? So I skip every two or something? I, is that- I have to map this? Okay, now I'm losing points. Okay, so, so not every- Sorry, apparently there's a point of diminishing returns. Figure that out. Okay, so every tree? Oh. No. Okay. Every four. So one. Uh, there. Sorry, on the third one. So skip two every time. Okay, it's not centered. Nobody give me grief about that. No, but then I can't put it on the lower ones. Hold on, I need to start from the lower ones. Oh my god. How do rich people do this? Oh, sorry, they don't write. They don't, my bad. Did I just lose a point? Okay. You know, I have an idea. Just just spam them until I start losing points and then go. Hey, I I know we said to fill up half of this with jewelry. I, I know we specifically asked for this, but also could you... Uh, Man, this looks disgusting, honestly. Listen, I know we said half, okay? Listen, we, we French... We with our French dictionaries here, we said half. So I lost one right now, right? Too bad the game doesn't have any shortcut keys, huh? We asked for half, okay? Half jewelry, pair, necklace. We specifically asked for that, you know? We literally did. We literally asked for that. It's written in the guide. Uh, but um, the thing is... The thing is, don't count. Please don't do math, because we ourselves, we couldn't math in this game. Bracelets. Three silver blaze... Blah, 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 blah. Silver beads encrusted with diamonds, emeralds, again. Is this good enough? Oh, this uh, this is good enough. Do you think this game's music is like you can download the the they, they officially sell the music, like the original soundtrack to this game? Do you think it's available for download as DLC? Okay. And now... Silver Eclipse for earrings. Silver beads encrusted with diamonds, emeralds, or sapphires. Once again, god, they really love their sapphire and diamonds. By the way, by, by the time I'm done, I'm dead, I think. Right, it's silver, it's always tr silver. Just these? Yay! What about the other side? Oh, 
little playing a little bit coy, are we, huh? Okay, I did it. Um, I guess technically I didn't choose the best one, but yeah, let's validate this. Oh, I d wait. So what is the bonus for? Another quality work, thanks. Oh, I can also unlock items over here. Clara. I know, Nelson. Who was Nelson again? I forgot. Is it the main guy or someone else? The big boss is like, Clara, I know I could rely on you. You've exceeded my expectations. The whole team is very grateful to you, especially me. By the way. How come ah! you're not dressed yet? Nelson Sullivan's waiting for us. Is he? What for? The cocktail party, of course. Oh, I completely forgot. It's been a lot to take on for a first day. Hurry up and don't forget your book. Nelson wanted to have a look at it. I'm coming. I'll just be a sec. Why did you do it in a breathy voice? I'm coming. Dear friends, we are gathered here this evening to celebrate the launch of a new line of cosmetics that will undoubtedly allow us to increase our stakehold in the under 25 market. <laughs> Eclat Ardon, as it is known, is a revolution in the world of teenage cosmetics. We owe this success to Kim Doherty, the director of our cosmetics department. I would very much like to congratulate her here today. Thank you, thank you. I'm very flattered. <laughs> Look at Scott Sullivan. He looks as if he's sulking. I told you those two don't get along. What <laughs> is drama? Your book is the inventory. Um, okay, so the gra okay, so if anyone is wondering what just happened uh, with the graphics, don't worry, me too, because A, the graphics darkened there, and now they're blowing out my eyes, and Bloom came into play. So the graphics somehow improved and de-improved at the same time, and the game just locked itself to 30 frames for some reason. I don't know why. Oh, sorry, now it's not the 30 frames. Sorry, this game is very hard to run on modern hardware. It's amazing, Carol. Ever since I arrived at Style Factory, I feel like any minute now I'm going to wake up. Just look at the dresses, the dinner jackets, the jewelry. It's beautiful. <laughs> Even the champagne tastes better here. Does it? Nelson Sullivan is a born show-off. It's just the way he is. When he organizes an event like this, he doesn't cut corners. <gasps> what event? I must admit that the thrill of it soon wears off. I'm fed up with eating caviar and listening to the same old tunes. Hey, you wouldn't want to do me a favor, would you? Hashtag rich people problems, lol la mal. I'm so tired of eating caviar. Oh boy. Also, they don't cut corners, do they, when they invite like 10 people only to a big meeting. Oh boy. What? Change the record. The stereo's just over there. I feel like something a bit more romantic. What? Are you sure I'm allowed? Of course, no one will notice. And if you choose a song I like, I'll let you in on the latest Style Factory gossip. Well, if there's a reward thrown in. By the way, while I remember, here's my cell phone number. It might come in handy. I, I don't have your cell phone? Thanks. I appreciate it. What? Then how do we know each other as Sugar Bowl? A Sugar Bowl? Oh, there's only one sugar cube left. I can't eat that. <laughs> What's her problem? She she feels so, she feels so privileged. She won't even eat. That's how privileged my character feels. She she so privileged to the point that she won't eat. She will literally not eat something. That's how privileged she feels. Good evening. You're not Steve Anderson. Yes. Do I know you? No, I'm sure you don't. I'm just starting a work placement at Style Factory, but I've seen all your films. You're a great actor. I loved you and I'll be dead tomorrow. Is that the developer's dream? Thanks. That's sweet of you to say so. Sweet! Nikos Amadeus is just jealous. He said I stole the limelight from him, even though I only had a supporting role in the film. It must be amazing to be an actor. This honestly feels like fan fiction for the wrong demographic. It's tiring too. People don't realize how exhausting fame can be. <laughs> all that signature signing, the celebrity parties, and the high society dinners. Not to mention all those girls chasing around after you. Oh no! Sometimes I fantasize about being just another face in the crowd. But let's talk about you. So, you work for Style Factory. I just want to be a normal guy. 
in 2022 that barely makes rent payments on his mortgage or his apartment, you know, just normal things. Where I have to live like with three other people, making ends barely meet, not having a future, not having a house, not having a, a family, you know, just, just normal guy stuff. Not yet, I'm just on a placement. What do you mean by placement, Clara, you stupid bitch? It's a start. Well, if you ever need any advice or helpful tips, I'll leave you my cell phone number. Don't think twice about calling me. <laughs> Thanks, it's really kind of you. Clara. So, Clara, chatting up my boyfriend now, are you? Your boyfriend? Oh, <gasps> drama. Yes, Steve and I have been engaged for two months now. You see, sweetie, fashion design is the path to happiness. Okay, so what was about the other guy that you wanted to meet, the, the boss's son? What was that about? Wow! Wow! Steve, will you leave my friend alone? She just got here and you're already all over her. <laughs> but she was the one who came up to me. Oh, wait, wait, hold on. Hold on, what? What? It's, she's, she's fine with that. She's like, stop flirting with my best friend that you don't even have my number. Okay, I'll let you off this time. Are you guys in an open relationship? Do you think they're gonna fight later or do you think they're gonna start swinging? Good evening, Clara. How nice to see you again. Well, it would seem your work placement has got off to a good start. Yes, it did, Mr. McAllister. Uh, his, his first name is Mr. It's it's not Mr. The, you don't see the dot. It's not Mr. He, he's like when he was born as a baby, his parents called him MR. I don't know why. And then the mom died and the dad had to raise MR by himself. So there's a very tragic story there, I think. Yes, I'm really pleased about it. The launch of the new cosmetics collection will generate a lot of work for everyone. Now's your chance to show what you're made of. The entire town is gonna rely on our tokens even more. Without that, they will literally not eat. This entire city relies on us, on us. It's one of those old American towns. If, if the main company goes bankrupt, everybody just dies in the city. I hope I'm good enough. <laughs> well. Of course you are. I don't doubt it for one minute. Mr. McAllister, may I ask you a question? Fire away, Clara. What's Scott Sullivan's relationship with his father like? They don't seem to get along very well. A drama. Yes, things are a bit tense between them. Nelson has a very open and generous nature that clashes with his son's more introverted personality. And Kim's presence doesn't help matters. Scott hates her. That doesn't add up. That can't be easy on a day-to-day -day basis. The developers are making fun of introverts that basically introverts will even fight with their parents if their parents are social butterflies. You need to know that so you don't go and put your foot in it. What? But don't pay too much attention to the rumors going around. The main thing is your work. That's where you need to focus your attentions. I got an attention span. Thanks for the advice, Mr. McAllister. I'll remember that. By the way, here's my cell phone number. If you need anything... That's really kind of you. <laughs> Clara. I think Clara was a country girl that by mistake found a phone one day, so she thinks it's a big deal with exchanging numbers. So what, my entire objective is gonna be making that introvert my boyfriend? That's a developer's dream. A good country girl that is like very grateful with phone numbers. Can I just drown myself? No, okay. Good evening, Scott. Huh? Evening. Oh my god, your face looks like a disaster. His face looks like someone trying to draw Spartacus from memory, but they forgot how to art. I hope I'm not disturbing you. Who are you again? Oh yes, the new trainee. <laughs> this guy's fucking a mom, isn't he? Yes, I started... Listen, I don't know what you want from me, but I assure you, you've come to the wrong person. Everyone at Style Factory will tell you. I don't respond well to flattery and smooth talkers. <laughs> what the Watch out, we got a badass here. But I just wanted to... Introduce yourself? Well, you've done it. Now, if you want to make yourself useful, go and get me a kiwi juice. It's horribly hot in this room. Dad, do you want a drink? You could be a bit nicer to Clara, Scott. <laughs> What's she done to you? If you're sure you don't mind, Clara, I'd love a raspberry juice. <laughs> Kim, are you thirsty? Thank you for asking, darling. Yes, I'd love a pineapple juice. Shut the fuck, you so, guys! that's a kiwi juice for you, a raspberry juice for Mr. Nelson, and a pineapple juice for Mrs. Doherty. I'll be right back. What the... 
Do they want to get sued? I think they want to get sued. Okay, where do I get the pin appeals from? Well, I mean, I mean, the ingredients were already there, so I don't know what you wanted from me, honestly. Hey, I know you're the designer, but uh, how about you get us some jewels? Also, I don't think that guy's an introvert. I just think he's an asshole. <laughs> Look at this high-octane gameplay for children with children made by children. Very horny children. Uh, children who want to hide the fact that, you know, they watch Victoria's Secret for certain reasons. Oh, let me guess. I need to equip it. I like how the guy was like, uh, you, you know, yeah, you want to introduce yourself? Yeah, you did. Now fuck off. Oh, by the way, you know, if you want, you can get me some juice. Dad, you want some juice? Y you know that kid when, like, he says something bad and then he tries to act like a man, but he uses his parents as defense? He's like, yeah, you know, I'm not here to make friends. Isn't that right, Dad? We're here for work. And Dad is like, well, yeah, but you don't need to be rude, son. <laughs> hey, by the way, get us some juice. So I like how the dad also entered the conversation. Uh, thanks. What? No ice? Kiwi juice is supposed to be served chilled. I'm sorry, Mr. Sullivan. I can go and get you some, if you like. No, this will do. Anyway, I'm not thirsty anymore. <laughs> okay, this is not an introvert. You must think I'm a bit strange, huh? <laughs> yeah, you're an asshole. That's what you are. No, Mr. Sullivan. A lot of my friends are artists. Oh, shade! And artists are all prima donnas. Yes, I know what people say. I'm going to let you in on a little secret. My mother died just over two years ago. That's a secret. I'm really sorry to hear that. <laughs> what? Did my, character, did my character just make fun of them by copying their voice? It completely turned my world on end. Nothing's how it used to be. I don't know if you can understand what I mean, but I just seem to have lost all interest in life. Well, life has lost interest in you, so that's cool. Come see, come sa. That must be terrible. But I can see I'm boring you. Oh, he looks very happy for boring me. No, not at all. I... Anyway, good night. I should never have told you that. Yeah. What an unusual guy. Yes, yeah, to his face. I'm, I'm sorry, your mother's death was a mystery? I think everybody knew about that, no? How would nobody know this guy? What, people out there are expecting this guy's cheating on his wife or something? What? Thank you, Clara. You've been very helpful. I'm sure we're going to get along famously. Now, tell me a little bit about yourself. At Style Factory, we aim to give everyone the role they're most suited to. Being able to match tasks to skills, that's the secret of our success. You guys are successful because the entire town relies on your tokens. I'm still a student, Mr. Sullivan. I haven't got a huge amount of work experience. Have you tried your hand at designing? Oh, yes. I've been designing clothes all my life. Huh? I've been making dresses for my older sister since I was six. Oh, if <gasps> you like, I'll show you my book. Some of my designs are quite good. What? Okay. What? Hey, you have a very lovely older sister. If your older sister was willing to tolerate a six-year-old making clothes for her, I don't know how that would work. When you'd get the materials, the money, the time to do any of that, first of all. And B, but like I came to this job to design clothes. Well, whatever I'm doing, I'm doing. But like I should have experience already, no? Why are they implying I'm working here as, oh, right, tokens, right? I'm not getting paid. That's a good idea. Come and show me your book when you get a moment. Thank you, Clara. It's very kind of you. At least we know we can rely on you, and that's an invaluable quality <laughs> in the world. There's very few people who you can really trust, you know. Hey, I know you just gave me and gave us a drink that we very rudely asked, by the way, and you work for us and everything. Technically, you could sue us for being very, you know, rough on you, as they say, in more ways than one. Uh, but yeah, now, now we are best friends. We rely on you for everything. We, you're my confidant. <laughs> you are, you are the most invaluable person right now because we trust you for one martini. All I did was get you a drink. Thank you, Clara, for stating the obvious. I appreciate it a lot. That's irrelevant. I've got enough experience to tell from the offset if I can trust <laughs> someone. That's how I hire my staff. By gut instinct. Believe me, it's the only way. Wait, what? I didn't get this job because of my skills? I'm sure you're right, Kim. Trust me, I've got plenty of experience. Well, have a good evening, Clara. It 
Oh, now I'm calling her on a first name basis, Clara. Oh, uh, sorry, Kim. Can't draw myself? No. Why am I wearing the cowboy outfit? That's what still gets me. I mean, it's not really a cowboy outfit. I just found a white dress or shirt. Well, a white shirt and a white pair of pants and I just drew on them? So what's my objective? Find a boyfriend? Clara's noticed her teacher. I should go talk to him. Clara for, for, for some juice. A little chat with Carol. She me she'll tell me some if I change the music. Oh, right, right, the music. Wait, where's the music player? What is this, a coffee shop? Oh, we're inside the the coffee place inside the, the entire building has their own custom-made coffee thing. What? How'd that work? What? <laughs> Why? Oh, here's a music changer. High voltage. So, what song shall I put on? So, what track shall I put on? Boyfriends and girlfriends. She wants the new romantic music. Okay, I'm gonna go for that one. Let's hope it's good. No, that's not romantic music. That sounds like a porno. Thanks, Clara. That's exactly the type of music I felt like. You're welcome. True to my word, I promise to let you in on a secret. Well, here it is. Do you know what the rumor going around Style Factory is? No, what is it? No, I'm all ears. Well, that's why you're hiding them. You probably know that Nelson Sullivan's first wife, Jessica Wooden, died in a car accident. Or at least that's how the story goes. Well, the rumor is that actually she was murdered. Oh, no! Drama! No way! Does Nelson know? Does the man whose wife died know about the rumor? I don't think so. And remember, not a word of this to anyone. It could cost me my job. Then how is it a rumor if... Okay, what? Carol, you're not very smart, are you? No worries, Carol. You can count on me. Oh yeah, how did I save? Um... Oh, I, oh, it's locking me off from saving all oh, decision-making time. What now? Can't you just leave me be? No, Spartacus. Okay. I'm tired. I think I'm going to bed. <laughs> Where's the bed in this place? Clara, so are you having a good evening? <laughs> Do you think they use AI for the face? To your health, Clara, and to your future success at Style Factory. I'm glad you're here. I think we're going to become good friends, you and I. I'm glad you're Thanks. Well, apparently I'm supposed to be having fun, but how do I have fun? Clara's book. Oh, it's to show the guy my book? Why does it look like an FBI badge? I hope you're having Let's have a look. Hmm. Not bad. I need to have a better look at this. Who knows? Perhaps we could use some of your designs in our next collection. Oh, are they gonna steal it? That would be an honor, sir. A real honor. Look at me prostrating in front of a man, not being a woman of my own size, as they say. Sorry, but I haven't got time now. Y your entire job is to sit there and just on be on the phone every day? Ulysses Dream, add airline company. So, do I have everything for you? What about the catwalk? Ulysses Dream. Okay, I do have everything for you. See, the developers know what their demographic wants, which is not wasting time. The director has decided to give the leading role of Helen to a young upstart. I'm landing with the role of Penopoli. Perhaps I won't be appear on screen until the end of the film. It's an outrage. So you're going to have to out, out Belinda Houston. Oh, they're the ones talking. Oh, wait, sorry, I have a voice act. <clears throat> the edit has directed the giving role of... <laughs> Eh, uh, let's restart. The eight director decided to give the leading role of Helen to a young upstart time line with the role of Penelope, which means I won't appear on the screen until the end of the film. It's an outrage, so you're going to have to outdo yourself with my costume. I want to be more beautiful than Helen. Do you understand? People started the wars. Well, you're already three stars out of five, so clearly it's all about your body in the end, huh? Open back top. With cross over front draped skirt. Open back top with cross over front. Is it this? <laughs> Wait, what just- how, how did you lose your pants? 
Am I that good? I'm so good at fashion. Women just remove their pants immediately. Oh, I dragged it. Oh, sorry, my bad. Sorry, don't catch a cold, please. I might get. I'm a draped skirt. A draped skirt. This maybe? This? No. Why do they keep on getting shorter? Well, apparently I already completed it, so I can just do validate. See, there's no failure in this game. This game is a fun game for the whole family. No patterns, no prints. Cream of white. How do I know if it's creamy? <laughs> yeah, maybe this? Huh? No? Okay, what about shoes? Uh, leather sandals in beige or brown. Uh, where were shoes? Oh, shoes aren't an accessory. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, okay, Frenchman, don't tell woman what to do. Woman tells you what to do in France, okay? We all know this. Any bear sandals? That role play as a sexy Jesus or something? It, was that right or did I, did I lose or get more points? Oh no, I lost points. Sorry, my bad. These are too chic. These are too modern. Back in the olden Greek days of Penelope, they didn't wear high heels. Oh no, sorry, my bad. They wore high heels. Sorry, my bad. I don't know my, my Greek. <laughs> Game? Yeah. Game? Um, game? Uh, game? I can't access anything? N no? Okay. A beige or brown? Oh, now she doesn't- what? <laughs> Stop removing her clothes! Uh, what's happening? Oh my god, I have to see like a weird blink on it. Okay, but you see it... What just happened? <laughs> Game, why are you just moving things around like this? Okay, there we go. Um, okay, gold or floral tiara. Gold or floral tiara? Hi. Headband? What's a little bit of racism between friends? <laughs> Um, I don't have a tiara. Gold, gold or floral tiara? Oh, oh my god, this is a tiara. Okay, why is the game not... Okay, I'm, I'm kind of lost actually. The power of Jesus? No. Okay, alterations. Okay, this. I mean, there's a floral combo with a tiara thing, but I guess that's not acceptable. Okay. Uh, validate. All oh, skill. All oh, skill, baby. All oh, skill. I'm a professional gamer, me. Oh, they didn't give me my score this time. Why? Huh? Wait, what? All right, I need to make her walk now. If you don't look at the design, but the range of mini fashion for me, it better be worth it. Oh, don't worry, you're worth it. <laughs> Are we L'Oreal? L'Oreal! Uh, the shampoo brand or whatever. <laughs> yeah, I'm not taking a picture. What, you think I'm going to waste hard drive space on these polygons? Look at that two star. God, this must be very awkward. I mean, right now, there's no music, nothing. It's just up here with, like, the wind blowing inside your ears. Basically, think of it this way. Right now, there's a woman walking around doing this. Uh, not that there's anything wrong with a woman doing this. I mean, I don't mind. Not for that reason. I just don't mind. I'm, I'm very progressive, apparently. What, she's gonna muscle strike? She's gonna bulge out her muscles, just like the She-Hulk? Oh, okay. So... <laughs> no! Oh no, I failed my strike pose! Oh no, I lost half a heart. Oh no, she almost tripped there and fell off the helipad and then she died.
<laughs> Very awkward camera angles. I want to know who the cameraman is. And she's just going in high heels down the grid and she's gonna say hi to Angelina Jolie, I guess. So right now there's just wind blowing in everyone's ear up there, no music, no nothing, and I'm just having a woman go around. Perfect, with this costume you soon realize that the young upstart is all wrong as hell and I completely outshine her. Belinda, don't insult me, okay? Belinda, I did the work there. So the reason I can fail, not fail this game that easily is because I'm gonna guess you play it with one hand sometimes, huh? I'm literally using the company's limousine every time. I find it very, very sad. Well, funny actually, you know, rich people deserve this. Why are these two jeans so expensive? What happened here? This is so stupid. Every time I have to go out and buy out things, I... Uh, I mean, I guess I'm the lowest food chain right now. Cinema West? Do I have everything? Yeah, I do. Abandoned mission. Oh, I can abandon them. Hell no, I'm not gonna abandon them. My dear... Okay. So, like, basically what I'm trying to say is this movie, a Cowboy West movie with this actress, you're gonna have a lot of racist people on Twitter just complaining about it and hoping it fails. Uh, so good luck to the director in dealing with Twitter. Well, was there Twitter back then? I don't know. I don't remember when Twitter came out. But uh, good luck to the director and good luck to the actress. Hopefully she retires after this movie, just like Star Wars. My dear, your boss, Mr. Sloan, has warmly recommended you. It seems that you're the ideal candidate to design the costume of the character I'm going to play. I hope you know your stuff when it comes to cowboys. Well, clearly the director did not. This movie is gonna be that movie that everybody just complains about it on Twitter and YouTube constantly for no reason. Cotton Bastier and jeans. Uh, do I have that? What's a custom cotton bustier? I have to I like have to go through each one of them slowly until the name pops out. Yep, this is what the cowboy looks like. Oh, that's an extra layer. Cotton bustier. This? This. This? This looks like a cowboy. Under alterations? Oh, there we go. Oh, sometimes you're buying like extras. What is this, Jasmine from Aladdin? Okay, this. Okay, now what? Jeans with leather chaps and a fur leather coat. Fur? Any alterations I need to do? Well, this looks the part. Now we're getting somewhere. Well, not really. I don't care, actually. I don't know. I'm trying to sound excited about this. Um, leather chaps. Don't you love it when they hide these menus on under each other? Uh, fur and leather coat. No patterns or prints. Brick or burnt sienna. Just any? Oh no, I think I lost a point there? Okay, so any of this category. Well, I mean, way to ruin the combo, guys. I like how the colors don't match up. They don't match up, honestly. And... A cowboy hat, no other types of accessory. So what's a cowboy hat? This? Oh, perfect score! 10 out of 10! You're perfect for the roll! Just be careful with the racists on YouTube and Twitter, girl! Girl power hashtag! Stay strong! We're, we're just sending her to the slaughterhouse, honestly. This poor girl is gonna get eviscerated out there. I think it was a percent of childhood watching westerns on telly. It's plain to see that you're an expert in this area. Well, actually, it's the easiest one, so I don't think that's expertise. So what was the point of getting like a full star? Did I receive any bonuses? I don't think I did. Jet Set Soye, pink eyeshadow. Spy film. Design? Oh, I have everything for you. Oh no. 
prayer. I've heard you read the fifth way.